Did you know that I used to look like a completely different person to the point that people I haven't seen in five years or so don't even recognize me? I am three plus key. I'm your favorite social worker. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health and persistent education. So back to the story in 2018, I had eczema covering the entirety of my body so thick and so scarred. At one point I was at the doctor's office and the doctor thought I had been in a fire um, or had received burns to my body. It was um, that bad. And on top of that, I had hypopigmentation. So I had four different colors in my face, ranging from dark brown to light pink. And at this point, I thought, I need to seize control of my life. And so I sought to do just that. So um, a scripture that I love is Proverbs 31, 30. It says, charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. So you can have all the razzle dazzle sparkling personality and all the beauty in the world. And it means nothing if you're not in communion connection with the Lord. And that was the foundation of starting this journey. So let's get into some definitions, eczema and hypopigmentation. Eczema is a medical condition in which patches of skin become rough and inflamed with blisters that cause itching and bleeding, sometimes resulting from a reaction to an irritant. Uh, some of the most common causes of eczema are a family history of it or being exposed to environmental triggers such as um, pet dander and, and the like. A topic dermatitis is the most common type of eczema, and it results from an overactive immune system that causes the skin barrier to become dry and itchy. So that's eczema. It is really itchy. Uh, second, hypopigmentation is a lightening of your skin color. Uh, injuries or skin conditions are the primary cause of hypopigmentation. So hypo hypopigmentation was the result of the eczema that I suffered from at the time. So what was the solution? How did I get clearer skin? How did I improve my skin health? Uh, and that's twofold. There was a physical component and an emotional component. So the physical, my skincare routine um, that I use today is I wet my face, I use uh, Cetaphil with my fingers and in a circular motion, I just work it in. And then I use a uh, toner, Thayer's, with an exfoliating pad to get all the dead skin off. Um, and then I, I uh, air dry my face and then I use Vaseline. So the Cetaphil is important because it is a mild skin cleanser and it doesn't over dry your skin. When you have eczema, you already have dry skin. So you don't need to use chemicals and things on your body that are going to dry your skin further. Um, I use Thayer's toner. It, it, it's been working, baby. I don't know. <laughs> they should give me a brand deal. <laughs> And I use Vaseline brand um, moisturizer. And I've, over the years, listen, I have used the gamut. Lotions, balms, it doesn't matter what it is. Nothing is as wonderful and as potent um, and moisturizing as Vaseline your regular, you know, in the blue, in the blue jar, um, that type of thing. So highly recommend it. So that's one facial technique I use. And then the second one, I alternate days. I wet my face. I do the circular motion with the Cetaphil. And then I use um, an exfoliating scrub. And the, the one I use um, has pink Himalayan salt. And it just, again, rubs all that uh, uh, dry skin and dead skin off of my face. And then I pat dry my face and I use the Vaseline again. I apply the Vaseline 
and um, use it, doing these things uh, has my skin feeling very soft and supple. Another thing I do, I talk about it all the time. I drink my body weight in water um, in ounces every day. I want to stay hydrated. I, um, I, I want to have a glow to my skin and that's how I achieve that. I also do my best to maintain a whole foods diet. So we're talking lean meats and, um, and, uh, and, and whole, whole milk, uh, Greek yogurt, this type of thing. The rule of thumb is if it doesn't grow that way, don't eat it. Now I'm no doctor, so I don't know what the specifics are. You can Google that, but when you're eating a sound diet and you're drinking a lot of water, your body is healthier and your immune system is positively impacted. Um, another thing that I do, I stay away from animals and allergens. If you smoke in your home, I'm just not going to your home. I love you. But <laughs> if you have a dog or a cat or a rabbit, anything with fur or feathers, I won't be visiting your home or your office because I'm allergic. And the result is that um, my skin breaks out and it's not fun for me. So it's a sacrifice that I've had to make, especially here in Missoula, Montana. Everybody has a dog. It's very commonplace. So it does limit the places I can go to, but I feel better and I look better. And so it's worth it to me. And finally, due to the years of um, itching on my face, I didn't have eyebrows. <laughs> it's true. Uh, and they're still pretty light. But about six months ago, I started applying castor oil to my eyebrows and notably they are thicker to the point that even my mom commented um, that my eyebrows are growing back. So again, wet your face, use the Cetaphil, use the Thayer's toner, use some sort of exfoliant um, that is gentle enough on your skin and follow it up with Vaseline drink your body weight in ounces of water every day, maintain a whole foods diet, uh, stay away from your allergens, friend, uh, make the sacrifice. And then finally, if you have any hair loss, um, castor oil does in fact work. So that's the physical component of improving my skin health. Also, there's an emotional component. So I will go on record and let you know that I <laughs> mind my own business. First Thessalonians 4.11 says, and we aspire to live quietly and to mind our own affairs and to work with our hands as we've been instructed. I am over here minding the business that pays me and not yours. And it's very interesting having a YouTube channel. Sometimes people feel the need to make nasty comments. And I'm always like, that's you. That's what you've got. That's a, that's a personality trait that you've got going on. I'm going to actually just come over here or even in real life. If somebody is uh, disturbing to me, I never say you get away from me. I just simply move away from you. I do not have the time and I don't want to be bothered with whatever malarkey shenanigans you've got going on. So number one, mind my own business. Number two, a regulated nervous system. And so what this means is a feeling of calm, or contentedness or even happiness. Um, but it is vital that I'm in a, a space uh, a, a per, per usual. I'm in, a, I'm in a calm space, right? Um, and I achieved this in three ways. Number one, became in tune with my emotions 
and I use discernment. Sometimes people just don't like you. And, <laughs> and that's, believe me, that's okay. There is not a person on this planet that everyone can point to and say, I like this person. Everybody has something to say. And I think that's okay. One thing um, that I learned recently, body language, um, nonverbal communication is about 75% of communication so sometimes you pick up that somebody isn't really feeling you and you can't put a finger on what it is and what it really is is that subconsciously your subconscious is reading that 75 percent of their nonverbal cues and they're not really messing with you so that's the scientific uh, explanation the god explanation is that's your discernment you know when situations aren't good for you or when people aren't good for you without it even being stated T tune in to the holy spirit that is trying to warn you number two make a plan toward regulation so stress happens right or we're in environments that make us uncomfortable what's the end game? What's the exit plan? When I see Susan in the hallway at work and I know that she always has a sarcastic comment, what am, what's the plan to deal with that? We're not cussing people out in 2024. We're praying for people. But sometimes when we're praying for people, we're still very, very unsettled. So maybe it just looks like instead of asking Susan how she's doing today, hi, Susan, nice to see you. And then you just keep walking by, but making a plan toward regulation uh, because you do not have to be dysregulated. You don't, you don't have to remain there, friend, okay? And then finally, Psalm 4610 is a goodie. Be still and know that I am God. We are meant to have our joy and our gentleness. We are meant to be at peace, right? And so prayer is a, a go-to. It is a must-have call on the Holy Spirit to help regulate your system. So um, those were the physical and emotional components to how I improved my skin health. Um, and then um, finally, I wanna stay on this path, right? I wanna acknowledge that. I wanna stay on this path, but, right? Sometimes I don't do the things that I just told you that I do, and that's normal, I'm a human. Sometimes I wanna eat fast food. Unfortunately, they know my name at KFC. <laughs> It's embarrassing. I like the biscuits quite a bit, right? Um, and then sometimes I want to go to a friend's house that has a cat or something like that. And that, that plays out. But for the most part, it's a whole foods diet. It's minding my own business. It's drinking the water. It's having a regulated nervous system. These are things that I want to pursue um, so that I maintain proper skin health. And I do want to call out, obviously, my skin is not perfect still, but friend, respectfully, neither is yours. <laughs> and if it is, you have some type of other flaw going on with you. So the point of this isn't Lakeitha has perfect skin, or even that I'm really honed in on achieving that. I want to be comfortable. I don't want to be itchy. I don't want to be self-conscious because I have multiple layers and textures and colors going on in my face. I want people to focus on my heart and the message that I'm giving and not my outward appearance. Um, first Samuel 16, seven, uh, we'll wrap it up with this. The Lord said to Samuel, do not look on someone's appearance or on the height of their stature because I've rejected them anyway. That kind of stuff doesn't matter to, to the Lord. For the Lord sees not as man sees. 
Man looks at the outward appearance. The Lord looks at what? Our hearts. And that's truly what matters. So um, uh, let me ask you guys something. Did you go through some type of glow up, friend? Congratulations. We're there. We're there in life. We're glowing up in 2024. So did you go through a glow up? And then what was that like? What was that process like for you? Comment below um, if you're at the beginning of it, you're wanting to get started. If you're in the middle of it and you're seeing results or if you're at the end of it, you lost the weight or your skin cleared up or you know, you got the new job or whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments. So I am three plus key. I am your favorite social worker. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health and persistent education. This is how I overcame eczema and hypopigmentation. Um, subscribe to this channel for more content like this video if you love it. Share the video with someone who could benefit from this information. And with that, I'll talk to you later.